Okay, one of the students uh, recently uh, sent me this email regarding this chemistry 20 question. And basically it involves um, determining the net ionic equation. So the first step is to write the balance chemical equation. Then the second step is to write the total ionic equation. And the third step is to determine the net ionic equation. So what we'll do first is we will write the balance chemical equation. So we have zinc strip, which is zinc, oops, that end, solid, plus silver nitrate, which is Ag, NO3. And if you check your table of solubilities, it is aqueous. Which will give you, well, that's a double replace, I mean, sorry, single replacement. So it will give us Ag solid plus zinc NO3 and subscript of 2 because zinc has a charge of positive 2. Nitrate has a charge of negative 1. So we have to balance charges by adding the subscript of 2. So the next step is to balance the chemical equation. So we have one zinc, one zinc, one Ag, one Ag, so that's fine. However, here we have one nitrogen, but we have two nitrogen here. So we need to balance it by putting the coefficient of two in front of the AgNO3. So that balances the nitrogen. We have two nitrogens on the reactive side, and we have the subscript of the nitrogen. So that's two nitrogen on the product side. However, our Ag is unbalanced. So we have two Ag on the reactant side, we have one Ag on the product side, so we'll balance it by stating the coefficient of 2. So now Ag is balanced. And let's look at the number of oxygens. We have 2 times 3, which is 6 oxygens on the reactant side. And 3 times 2 again, so that's 6 oxygen atoms on the product side. So we have the balance equation. And I almost forgot that when you also take check the table solubility for zinc nitrate, it is also an aqueous compound. So that was the very first step of writing or determining the net ion equation. So the second step is any compound that's aqueous, we must convert that to its ion. So zinc, when it's in a solid state, will never become ion. So we leave zinc solid as is. However, Ag and NO3 become ions. So we keep the coefficient for both Ag and N3. So it would be 2 Ag plus 1 aqueous plus 2 NO3 minus 1 aqueous. So what we did is we broke this ionic um, compound into its cation and anion, which gives us on the product side, well, Ag solid, so that's not soluble, so it doesn't form ions, so we leave that as is, so 2 Ag in the solid state. Plus, however, zinc nitrate is an ionic compound and it will form a cation and an anion um, in water, which means it dissolves in water, so we have zinc 2 plus aqueous plus 2 N. O3 minus 1 aqueous. And if you're not sure about what the charge of polyatomic anion is, just check the table on your uh, periodic table on your data book. So the next step, before we go on, go on to the third step to determine the net ion equation, what we have to do is we need to cancel out any ions or element or compound that appear on both the reactant and product side. So let's check. So we have zinc solid here. However, on the product side, we do have zinc, but this zinc is an aqueous phase and it has a plus two charge. So this zinc ion is not the same as zinc solid, so we cannot cancel that out. And when we look at the two Ag plus one on the reactive side, we compare it to the Ag on the product side again. However, on the product side, this is a solid state and on the reactive side, this Ag is an aqueous state, so it's not the same atom, type of atom, so we cannot cancel that out. However, we have 2 NO3 minus 1 aqueous state and 2 NO3 minus 1 aqueous state, so we can cancel out the nitrate. So the very third step is we write down whatever's left over after we cancel out the intermediate compounds or elements or ions. So that leaves us with zinc solid plus 2 
a g plus 1 aqueous and on the products we're left with 2 a g solid plus z n whoops z n 2 plus aqueous and that's how we write the net ionic equation so the very first step was writing our balanced chemical equation the second step was writing our total ionic equation and third step was writing our net ionic equation